Hello friends, welcome again on my YouTube channel Jaratto.in. So today I will teach you how to connect your website with Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So first we have required our WP admin websites WordPress admin. So I will guide you how you can register your website on Google Search Console and Analytics. Both things we can do with the this single solution uh, first you can see this is the our website www.unbreakable.co.in so i want to register this website on google search console and analytics so first i want a gmail id that i have to connect with my website so you can see i already logged in in a gmail id uh, the email id is wagme data at the rate gmail.com so i already logged in pc with my gmail id now i I have to log in in my WP admin. Uh, I enter my user ID and password. So now you can see this is the WP dashboard that we need to connect with the, uh, our Google Analytics and Search Console. So first we will go in the plugins. Then I click on Add New Plugin. After then I search here Site Kit. So when I search here Site Kit, you can see. You can see there is the plugin site kit by Google, Google Analytics, and it's directly published by Google. So first we will, we have to install this plugin in our WordPress admin. So right now it's installed in our WordPress admin. Now I activate this plugin. When I activate this plugin, you, you can see a new option enable here. You can see site kit option so first we will click on site kit dashboard after then we click on connect google analytics with the help of google analytics we can easily check our visitors of the website how many visitors recently visited on our domain so first i click on the connect google analytics as our part of our setup and i also select the help us improve after then i click on sign in the google when i click on sign in with google you have to select the email id that you want to connect with your uh, google analytics and your wordpress admin so i selected wagme data at the gmail.com after then i click on continue and now i click on the verify site ownership so i clicked on verify site ownership It will take just a uh, 10 to 15 seconds time. After clicking on, you can see the second step, turn on metrics in your dashboard. Uh, if you will cancel it, you can, can't see the uh, Google Analytics in your dashboard. So I click on allow. After then I click on setup search console. And then I click on setup Google Analytics. So you can see the Google Analytics already connected with our WP admin dashboard. And now I have to select this account. So I click on the set up a new account because already the register account I have registered for the other websites. So I have set up a new account. When I click on the set up new account, you have to select the all the things and create an account for this domain regarding Google Analytics. Now I select again my email ID, then I click on continue. And now I have to accept the all the agreements of Google, then I click on I accept. Now you can see the Google Analytics account successfully created and now I am going to my dashboard. You can see the uh, we can see the a pop up with Congress on completing the setup of Google Analytics. So it's confirmation about our website is connected with the Google Analytics. Now I click on OK got it. 
now you can see the google analytics connected and there is the you can you will see the uh, all the data here of your visitors and everything within two to three days now you can click on the settings now we connect the uh, now we can see the our google search uh, console registered with our website our analytics registered with website and page speed insights also connected with the website so all the things we can do with this single plugin so i hope guys you like my video so please i request you please like and subscribe and share as much you can thank you